So as you can see, I'm here at The Rose, which is a non-profit organisation in Houston that provides breast health care to men and women. And I have a new friend, Meet Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello. How are you? Good. What have you been doing today? Um, helping um, patients here with origami, trying to get their minds off with any information they're waiting on. Oh. And has it been a good morning? Oh, yeah. We've had a lot of people come by, having fun, and see how, how therapeutic it can be. Good, thank you. Well, I learned earlier this morning that you met Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst. Here is the photo of you, and I see you standing in front of Karen Campbell. And I understand that you shared your story, and I would love for you to tell everybody exactly what you said. It was very exciting. Uh, he was saying hello to everybody, and I told him that I was a breast cancer survivor. And because of what the Rose did for me, the first contact I had with a community health worker and how she held my hand and told me it was going to be okay, and she got, helped me get the help that I needed, the treatment that I needed, that I just felt I had to pay it forward. So I quit my job of 15 years and went back to school to get certified as a community health worker because I want to be that person to hold another woman's hand and tell her it's okay. Together we can make this journey. I will help you along the way with whatever problems you may need, any problems you may have and find you any resources you need to help you. Maria, that's an incredible story. Um, what did it feel like when you were first given your diagnosis? It, it was terrifying. It was terrifying finding the lump and then not knowing where to go because I had no insurance, I had no money. I didn't know who was going to help me, how I was going to get the help that I need. And the first thing that comes to mind is my daughter. Mm. She's you know in high school and I had to, what was I going to do? What was she going to do without me? And at that time, you had a job that you then quit after 15 years. What job were you doing? I was in the billing department uh, of a glass company, and, and they treated me well, and it was good, but it was, a, it was a small mom and pop type thing, so there was no benefits there. And so how do you feel now that you quit that and uh, became a community health worker? What's, what's, what kind of difference has it made to your life now? I definitely, there's a big difference. I'm so happy that I'm passionate about what, what I'm doing now. And I'm educating the public, helping them make the decisions they need to make for themselves to help them better themselves. And I definitely feel I have a purpose in life now. Is there a particular story um, that you can share with us uh, that kind of illustrates um, how you've helped? Is there one woman that sticks out in your mind? There's one woman that I met here at the Rose that uh, she was scared. She had no money, and she thought they were going to turn her away because she had no money. And I told her, no. Do not worry about that. Your health comes first. We're going to work that out. We're going to put it to the money. Don't, don't even worry about it. You're in the place where you need to be. And she just broke down crying, and I hugged her. And it made me cry because she just got even more emotional. She said, she said, thank you so much. Do you know that the last time somebody hugged me was my grandmother before she passed away? And it just got to me that she didn't have that human touch, that, that she needed that emotional support. Yeah. Well, Maria, you are an angel. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs>